So what we want to do here is figure out the forces in the members at joint D. We've already got the two of them, DE and DF. CD is zero, so you need to find BD and AD. So the first thing to do there would be to draw a free body diagram of D and show all those forces on there. Be sure to include the 9,000 Newton force at D. And you'll just have to assume directions on the forces BD and AD. So why don't you go ahead and do that. And you can just pause the recording while you do that. And start it up again after you have a free body diagram. All right, let's, uh, let's move into the free body diagram now that you've drawn that, hopefully. So there we go. So I've got the existing forces there on the right, the 8,000 that I found. That's tension on DF, so that pulls on D. We've also got tension on DE, so that pulls on D as well. I'm not showing CD because it's zero, so it really doesn't amount to anything. And then I've got the 9,000 pulling down. And it looks like I'm assuming both AD and BD are in tension. They're both pulling, FAD is horizontal, BD is up and to the left. All right, so there's the free body diagram. So the next thing we'll do will be to work out the equations and solve for FBD and FAD. So again, you can pause the recording and then just go ahead and do that. Um, what you want to be thinking about here is which equation to do first. I think you probably want to go with sum of Fy first because you only have one Y unknown. Once you've done that, you can go sum of Fx and solve out the other equation. So give those a run and then uh, see what you get and pause the recording before you do that. And then we'll move on to the solution. All right, so here we are, sum of Fy. We got sine 36.87 times 7667, that's up. 9,000 down. And then as I have it drawn there, FBD times sine of 36.87. And from there, it's just a matter of solving. So we get to that equation first. Uh, both this force and FBD are up. And then the 9,000 is down. So go ahead and get 0.6 FBD is 4,400. So FBD is 7,333 tension. Okay, once you've got FBD, then you can go sum of FX and set that equal to zero. And there you go. Um, so what we get then is minus FAD right there to the left. So that's minus. And then we get minus cosine 36.87 times 7333. Then plus cosine 36.87 times 7667 plus 8,000. And the sum of all four of those is zero. And you can solve for FAD, and that comes out to be 8267. So that is also as assumed. The positive answer means the direction is as we assumed, and it's to the left. So FAD is uh, 28267, tension. Okay. So that's how you work through these uh, joints problems. To finish this one up, I might go up to joint B. Get my free body diagram there. The unknown is just FAB now. That's the only one I've got. So I'll go sum of FX. I'll get cosine 56.31 FAB minus 14133 plus cosine 36.87 times 7333. Okay. Solve for FAB. It's positive 14903, which means that the positive means it does act upright as I assumed. And that's pushing, so that's compression. I could do a sum of Fy and set that equal to zero as a check. I should get answers that are about equal to zero when I run that and get zeros about equal to zero. There might be a little bit of rounding error in that. I could also go to joint A and use that as a check with sum of Fx and sum of Fy. 
and again I should get this essentially zero equals zero. All right, so that's how you work through trusses. So due Wednesday next week, um, I'd like 292 and 294. Um, they're on pages 17 B and C. Draw free body diagrams of each joint you work on. List your answers in the spaces provided on 17 B and C. Or if you use your own paper, list them in the order shown on 17B and 17C.